Hey guys, I've got a new installer for the Companion Cube. I mean the WiseCam version 2 or the Neo Smart Cam. Now, if you haven't heard of the Thingino project before, Thingino is a open source firmware replacement for IP cameras that are powered by Ingenic processors, which you find a lot in various affordable brands. For more information on the Thingino project, I've got a video on that up here. Go ahead and check that out. All right, so I have updated the no tool installer for this guy, and this one is easier to use has fewer steps and is more reliable so we're having fewer folks who are having issues so let's get started first you have to remove the disguise and here we have the old familiar face so what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to a windows laptop and i'm going to show you the process from there so to start off we're going to go to the github repo for the thingino installers and jump into wise v2 now, if you scroll down, we've got the README here that has all of the steps laid out nice and easily, and we're going to follow them. So step one here is to format your SD card to FAT32. So I've got my SD card in, jump into File Manager, we're going to right click, go to Format, and make sure you've got FAT32. Quick Format is OK, shouldn't need to change anything else. Go ahead and do it. So that only takes a second. Now the next step is we need to get the WiseCam 2.zip downloaded so that we can copy its contents over to the SD card. So you click it, it takes you to the second page, and then you can click this little download button and it'll go ahead and come down. So we're going to have it open up in Explorer. We're going to go ahead and select all. We're going to right click, go to copy, go to the SD card. We're going to right click and go to paste. So that'll take just a minute to copy all those files over. And in the meantime, we need to download the Thingino firmware images for WiseCam 2. We're going to go ahead and grab both of them. There are two different models of the Wise V2, and the installer is going to determine which one is the appropriate one. So we're going to go ahead and grab both of them. The only difference between the two images is the image sensor, but you really had about a 50% chance if you were just guessing on which one you would have. And a lot of folks were having problems trying to go from one image to the other so we've got them both downloaded. We're going to go ahead and we're going to copy them over to the SD card. And I'll just drag it over here. There's image number one. And grab it, image number two. So once that's done, your SD card should look like this. that all looks good then we're going to go ahead and cleanly unmount the SD card so we can put it into the camera so to do that you right click on SD card and you go to eject and that's it for Windows by Windows all right so we've got the SD card prepared and I've got the camera ready to go get the SD card out and it goes right in the bottom of the camera All right, the reset button is here on the bottom right here and you can hear it click so what we're going to do is we are going to hold the reset button down as we plug in the power we're going to watch the light there's a led right here uh, when it turns blue we're going to let go of the button and then we're going to wait about six and a half minutes while it does its thing and it's actual six and a half minutes not exaggerating so here we go, I've got the camera, I've got the button, plug her in. Orange, 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 or blue. Then you let go. Now during this process, 
that light's going to do a few changes and there's going to be a couple of clicks but for the most part you can just set this down and walk away it's going to do its thing and we'll come back in about six minutes all right it's been about 50 seconds and i just heard the first click the The camera just audibly said it's initializing first boot. That's WZ Mini Hack starting up for the first time. And in a few seconds, it's going to start reprogramming the flash. There's another click. Now, once the process is complete, there will be a new Wi Fi network. So you can go ahead and get your phone out and put it on the Wi Fi network list and we can watch for that network to appear we still have another four or five minutes to go all right i just heard the last click and the wi-fi network has appeared on my device i uh, will just go in and set it up for our wi-fi once you connect from an android device it'll take you directly to the portal if you're connecting from an ios device you will have to actually put in a URL in order to get there once you've connected. Any URL should redirect you to it, but I suggest doing thingino.local. We'll put in our SSID. Put in the network password. Put in what I want for my root password. Save credentials, proceed, and the camera is now rebooting. All right, once it's back up, you can put in the host name that you entered in into your phone's browser, or if you went with the default, that's fine too. Or if you did not write that down, you can always look up the IP address on your router's client list. Alternatively, if you didn't write it down and you don't want to look at your client's list with newer devices, you can just momentarily click the button Address is 192.168.82.247. And you can access it from that address. To go there, you will get the login page. And you put in username as root. And the password is what you put in. Right, and once we get booted up and logged into the admin interface, you will now see the preview image on your device or on your desktop browser and be able to start using the cam right away. Well, that's it. Now you've got another Thingino device ready to go. If you do have any trouble in the process, your easiest way to get help is to jump into our Discord. Also, come on over there if this type of stuff interests you. If you're into cameras, if you're into hardware hacking, you're into Linux boxes, stuff like that, we're having a good time over there. If you've got any questions or any comments, make sure and leave them down below. Would appreciate a thumbs up consider subscribing. I do have a lot more camera and other technology related videos coming and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Till then, stay fresh, cheese bags.